This two-year-old's family couldn't afford his $20,000 electric wheelchair, and their insurance didn't cover it, so our high school robotics team built him one for free. We live in a dystopian nightmare where two-year-old children with acute mobility challenges and whose parents have insurance must rely on a high school robotics team for his basic healthcare needs. Fix that for you, CBS News. America, the land of the free, where you might be free, but the price of living isn't. How's it going everybody, and welcome back to another subreddit video. Today we are looking at Awful Everything, which is a video that is awful. <laughs> now, before we begin, this video is almost guaranteed. We're, we're talking like a 99.9% .9 chance that this video is going to be demonetized, so if you want to help support my content, I have a Patreon in the description down below. Now before we get into the subreddit, I just wanted to mention that there is content in this of the current situation of the police, so if that is a trigger for you or is something that you don't want to watch a video on, I recommend clicking away because there are clips of police abusing their power in this video. Let's get into it. So first up here we have a picture of a condom advert from I believe Brazil. Um, <laughs> you know, it's not a bad way of advertising the use of protection. I feel the need to avoid Trump, Kim Jong-un and Putin at any cost, so kudos to you there. <laughs> Huge shout out to Cobb Country Police Department on their immaculate police work and service to the community. Yesterday, during a traffic stop, they found a container of my late brother's ashes and tested my dead brother's ashes and lied and said it tested positive for cocaine. Unreal. Completely disrespectful. Good luck in court, guys. I'm so sorry, Kurt Herrera, that you were disrespected like that. How do- why do- who do- I have so many questions. Why did they do that? Why would they do that? Why lie? Why? What do they gain? I don't know. Hell, celebrities are going makeup free while social distancing. They're so brave. Thank you for sharing. Guys, I think it's- I think I need to come out and say that in today's video, I am makeup free. You, you will not find any makeup on me in today's video. I hope you can all, you know, respect that and, and be happy for me showing who I really am because it was such a challenge for me being so world famous like I am to show my face without makeup. Drake reportedly shuts down restaurant for dinner with 18 year old model Bella Harris. And then we've got a picture of Drake with Bella Harris there uh, in 2016. Her birthday was 2000, which means that that picture of her and Drake, she was 16. This one's a bit of a rough one, so this this is where another bit of the trigger warning from earlier will apply. Levena Johnson, 19 years old, was found dead in her tent in Iraq in 2005. She had a broken nose, black eye, loose teeth, burns from a corrosive chemical on her genitals to cover evidence of, and a gunshot wound. The United States government ruled her death a suicide. Now I looked this up because obviously in, in the past I've shown things that like weren't true and I got called out for it. So I looked this up and yes, in fact, this one is true and people do believe that the US military are covering it up. The evidence very clearly supports that she didn't kill herself. Alan, Alan Mann, Alan Mann, Alan Mann. Is, is his last name Mann or is it a man from Alan? Was busted with 58 terabytes of child illicit images. Do y'all know how much a terabyte is? Throw him in the volcano. Yeah, a terabyte is a thousand gigabytes. My computer has one terabyte of storage on it. This man has... That's so much. That's so much. How do you, how do you even gather that much? Oh, wow. I mean, let's be real. If he goes to jail, which he most likely will, 
he's not gonna make it out of jail. They do stuff to people like that in jail. Here's a picture of SeaWorld and some people surfing on some orcas and like that water. <sighs> so this guy is on a baby orca right here. Those orcas are not floating. That water is like a foot deep. That man is just flattening this orca against the bottom of this pool. What is even going on in this picture? And how is this okay? This is not okay. <laughs> Guys, does anyone know where I, where you can bulk buy a Allegra OTC? I need more than what CVS stocks to make the batter for my world famous Allegra chicken. Hello, please only take Allegra as directed. Find directions, uses and warnings on our website here. We would like to hear more about how you are using Allegra. Please give our consumer affairs department a call. Company talk for what in the funk are you doing? That I cannot imagine using medication would make good tasting chicken. I can imagine that that would give you real stomach issues though. And oh, I don't want, I'm gonna be real. I don't eat meat, but if I did, I most definitely would not want to be eating purple chicken. That just does not sound like a good time to me. Hey, remember when the Panama Papers came out and revealed that all the rich people in the world are part of an enormous criminal conspiracy to dodge taxes and hoard stolen wealth in an offshore accounts and literally nothing happened? That's not quite true. The reporter behind the story, Daphne Caruana Galicia, was murdered. But nothing happened, guys. <laughs> Ugh. So here we have the first video, there are only two videos in this one, but here we have the first video that shows the police pinning a man down and then putting a baton in the man's hand so that they can claim that the man attacked them, which I'm really glad this was caught on camera and I hope that the police have been reprimanded and at least fired for doing this. They deserve much more than that, but in the current, in, in what's going on at the moment, the police are doing a whole lot and like not even getting reprimanded for it. So just I, the whole situation at the moment is ridiculous. I don't understand how you can have an entire police force for an entire country that got that corrupt. Where was the US government? In, in the last, what, like, 100 years that this has been brewing? Where have they been? They've just been letting it happen. They have not cared. And that is actually insane. That is really quite crazy. The Louisville Metro Police Department charged him with attempted murder because he shot in self-defense. When the police raided his home, the wrong home didn't knock, unannounced, shooting 20 times with eight of those bullets, killing his girlfriend, 26-year-old Brianna Taylor, who was an EMT working at two hospitals during the COVID-19 crisis. Kenneth has no criminal history for drugs or violence and is licensed to carry. To make matters worse, the suspect they were actually looking for was already in jail. So this is the story of Brianna Taylor, who is a name that has been very, uh, very common going around at the moment in, in regards to the, the black rights movement is justice for Brianna Taylor because she was unjustly murdered and the police that did it are not in jail. But not only that, her boyfriend was arrested for shooting in self-defense because they broke into the wrong home and gunned down his girlfriend. What? 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 I don't. Get it, man. This is why I wish I could do more for the situation. And this is why people that can do more need to be doing more. Because this is not okay. This is not okay. The yellow line is the size of SeaWorld's parking lot. The green dot is where orcas will spend their entire lives. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen stuff like this before, but like SeaWorld is still around and they are not making changes and I don't know how it's still legal. It, it definitely shouldn't be. Google fired an engineer who built a tool that notified employees of their labor rights. Wow. Imagine someone trying to alert people that they have rights and the people in charge of those people going, hey, Let's make sure these people don't know their rights. <laughs> Welcome to America. My cat, one week before it died of heart disease, was such a cute chonker. 
I think we can all agree that Chonkers is a terrible subreddit. The whole community there for overfeeding pets to an unhealthy amount, to the point where this cat literally died from it. It's animal abuse. M deliberately making your pet unhealthy so that it can be fat and you can put pictures of it on Reddit is animal abuse. And I don't understand how Reddit hasn't done anything about the subreddit. It's, that's not okay. I'm gonna say that a lot in this video, but that's not okay. That's really not okay. Do you see that man over there, Timmy? Yes, Jesus, I see him. That's the man that murdered you and your family while you were sleeping. He repented and asked for forgiveness. Now he's here in paradise with us. Go say hello. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. There's in paradise, you're probably, even if he did go to paradise, you're probably not gonna see your murderer in paradise. I, I can't imagine that's much of a paradise, really. Here we have another video. I'm just waiting for it to load. This is the last video that I have. Uh, it's not loading, so I will just talk about it and have the video playing as I talk about it. Basically, this policeman tried to arrest this man for eating a sandwich and reportedly walked past multiple other people who were eating to tell this man that he's not allowed to eat. First of all, when did eating become illegal and why wasn't I made aware of this? Uh, second of all, I don't think there needs to be a second of all. Eating in public is not a crime and I don't think you can arrest people for that. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that's a thing. And let's be real, it's because the guy is black. That's why the policeman is trying to arrest him, because he's a racist policeman. My computer isn't letting me open this file, it's just saying, so the execution failed, so we're just gonna move on. And if I have to re-download the video to put it in this, so be it. How Americans see the USA, the USA in reality. It's the guy from The Boys who's inept. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't think I need to say more. You guys look absolutely insane to everybody that isn't you guys. There, there have been numerous mass shootings every day the past two weeks for the past year. So I'm, do I need to say more? Do I need to say something's wrong here? And you guys are the only people that don't seem to be able to see that something's wrong here. Maybe you guys need to address a really, really prominent issue that is you are having mass shootings every day multiple every day and also your police are massively corrupt and systematically hunt out black people so do something about it maybe cool living in america means calling the police could kill someone and calling an ambulance could bankrupt someone yeah right so uh in a hat films video recently they were talking about this um and they were talking about the fact that american society you're literally weighing up the price of someone's life versus do I think they can actually afford to go to hospital? Someone created a, a civilization and went, hey, what if we, we went, you know, people can actually live, people can afford to eat, and people can go to hospital without having to worry about literally being homeless after it. And then some other guy went, ah, but capitalism! And then everyone else went, oh, I like what this man is selling! Oh, spicy. And here's the last picture. Darian Hunt was a cosplayer who was shot holding a plastic sword while in cosplay. The, the officers said they fired because they feared public safety. He was shot six times, at least four of them in the back. Please help reopen his case, he still doesn't have justice. I've seen stuff about him recently. Uh, he was in a Samurai Shampoo costume. I believe it's pronounced Samurai Shampoo. He was, he was in full cosplay. He was dressed up as a samurai from an anime with a plastic sword and they shot him in the back. How, who, how, who trains these people? And how and why? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't, this is why everything going on right now is so important. It's for things like this. Just cosplay is like so harmless. I love cosplay and I love seeing people in cosplay. 
And I don't want people to be scared to cosplay because they might be shot. <laughs> anyway, that's where I'm going to end this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this. Oh, I, I don't think I have. This has been just a really bad time. We've just learned a lot of really bad stuff. If you want to support my channel, then I have a Patreon. If you want to support me in other ways, I have more Reddit content and I have VR content and content in general. I also have a Twitch that I stream every Thursday and Saturday at 8pm UK time, so go drop by there. I'm playing through Hollow Knight at the moment. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.